Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Will and I just got back from Japan and I have some more anime figures to share with you guys. So in Japan, I picked up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven new figures to share with you. And you know, I went to pretty much the usual places to buy these figures. So of course, I had to hit up Akiya Bar. I went to both um, Yami stores. I went to the Mandaraki that's in um, Akiya Bar as well. Mandaraki is like kind of all over Tokyo, but I only went to the one that's in Akiya Bar. I went to the Kotobukiya store. I went to the book off, but not in Akiya Bar. I think I went to the one in Shinjuku or uh, Shubuya. I'm not sure exactly which one, but book off is pretty much a large chain used bookstore mostly, but in some of the actual locations, they do sell like anime merch in anime figures. And if you ever buy any figures off like Yahoo Japan Auction, they are actually a really big seller of pre-owned figures. So I hit up one of those locations and I definitely did pick up some merch and a few figures as well. So I say we just go ahead and start with the figures that I got from Book Off. So this first figure here is one I was not expecting to see or even thought about buying. I didn't know I needed it until I actually saw it. It's gonna be of my boy Ryder from Fate zero and i actually really kind of got this for my wife because she's a huge fate zero fan and she does love her some rider and this is a ben presto dxf figure that came out back in 2013 as a prize figure but it's a nice little figure it's about seven inches according to my figure collection so you know a pretty decent size not one eighth or anything like that but still a decent size and i think they did a pretty good job with like the overall paint and sculpt of the figure and more importantly it looks just like him i was looking at my figure collection and i saw a scale figure of him by mega house which looks absolutely nothing like him so i think this one looks way better and yeah it's a pretty cool looking figure i paid about twenty dollars for him so not too expensive at all and in fact i looked on uh, amazon uh, us and i saw that you can buy him but it will cost you like 60 or 70 dollars for this figure so again for 20 dollars, it's kind of a no-brainer i had to have it so here he is now this next figure that i have here is another one that i got for my wife most of these figures in fact are actually for my wife but this is going to be our boy Toji from Jujutsu Kaisen. This is just a Bandai Spirits prize figure that I got for like 25 bucks at Book Off. And he's actually a pretty good size. He's about, at least according to my figure collection, about 6.63 inches. And you know, he's kind of like in a squat position. So he's, he's a pretty good size. I would say almost a 1 8. In fact, I would kind of compare him to like the Kotobukiya Juju figures that they have in terms of his size and even like the overall sculpt and paint quality that you know we have here so it definitely looks pretty cool even the base has a nice little design on it as well so toji is both my wife and i's one of our favorite characters from juju i would say so when i saw him this was also kind of a uh, no-brainer uh, to pick up and his box was actually huge so i definitely sacrificed a little bit of suitcase space to bring him home but i think it was definitely well worth it. Now moving on to the final figure that I got from Book Off. It's going to be Miss Kaguya Shinomiya. This is just a little Bandai Spirits prize figure. It's from their Relax Time lineup. And I actually had this figure on pre-order from uh, Big Bad Toy Store for like 25 or so dollars, which is definitely a lot for a prize figure. At Book Off, I only paid $5 for this, so super cheap. And yeah, you know, don't have a lot of Kaguya scale figures. I love the anime, so I was like, you know what? She looks pretty cute in this figure, uh, so that's why I went ahead and pre-ordered it, but I'm glad I found it while I was in Japan and definitely saved a good amount of money. And this figure actually comes with um, swappable face plates, although the face plates really, they're not like that different to be honest. One has her mouth open and the other one just has her mouth closed and that's really it. But still, you know, for like $5, I think this was definitely a steal. She's super cute, quality looks pretty good as well. So really no complaints. Now, while in Japan, I definitely had to go into an arcade and try my luck at some crane games and I was able to win one figure, which I'm pretty happy about. Not happy about the amount of money I spent trying to win this figure, but happy <laughs> that I did win it. And it's gonna be uh, one of my favorite waifus, Marin Kitagawa. This is just a little Sega prize figure. I spent maybe like 35 to $40 trying to win this little five to $10 
prize figure, but it's okay. It's all about the experience of playing the crane game, and I was super excited when I finally won it. But you know what? Overall, I think this figure is actually pretty decent. I mean, the overall scope looks pretty well done. The paint job on her uh, bikini and jeans and just the amount of detail on her jeans looks pretty good too for such a little cheap figure. And even her hair came out very clean. I was expecting to be like really messy, but the gradient was pretty well done. It's pretty well sanded and whatnot. So, you know, overall the quality of the figure looks pretty damn good. The only guess small complaint I have is it doesn't quite look like Marin Kitagawa. I feel like her face may be a little bit too wide, I guess, and not kind of long enough. I think that's what's throwing me off about it. No, it is what it is. But yeah, pretty uh, pretty nice little figure here. And the other complaint I have is definitely gonna be this big ass base. I'm not sure why they made the base so big for this small little figure, but it is what it is. Still pretty happy to have it. Now moving on to the figures that I got from the Amyami store. So this first one is gonna be a fairly old pre-owned figure. It's gonna be Ryder, AKA Medusa from the Fate series. This is a good small company, one inch scale that was released way back in like 2008. So definitely an old figure. And I think I paid maybe like $65 for this. Pretty much all of the pre-owned figures in the Amiami second store are pretty much rated like an A or a B. I think I saw maybe like one or two C rated figures um, in the actual store itself. So she's in pretty, uh, pretty good quality actually. Really no flaws that I can actually uh, point out. But I saw this figure, I was like, damn, she looks super cute. I love me some Ryder slash Medusa. So I really, wanted to make this one happen and the good thing is that her box wasn't that big so that was one thing i was definitely considering when buying some of these figures was how big is the box and can i fit it in my suitcase and as you can see just based on the figure itself she wasn't going to take up that much space at all so pretty happy to have her she's pretty cute i still think i want to get a rider in her servant outfit with the blindfold and whatnot i'm not sure which one i think she has like a couple of scale figures but i'll probably end up getting one eventually if i can find it for a good price but for now i'll just hang on to this one. Oh, and this figure is actually part of an actual set so you can get ren and saber in their maid outfits as well and connect them um, by their bases but honestly i'm looking at the saber figure right now uh, not too great in my opinion definitely looks like a older figure and the Ren figure not too bad either but really not something i would probably want to spend money on now these next two figures i'm really excited for they're going to be from furyu their new line called tinnitle i believe is how it's pronounced and the reason i'm excited for um, these two figures not so much for the figures or characters themselves but just kind of the competition Furyu is bringing. So I feel like these are going to really compete directly with Good Smile Company's pop-up parades. They're a little bit more expensive. I would say 50% more, but that's only like $10 more than say a pop-up parade. So instead of paying like $30, you may pay $40 or so for um, one of these Furyu Tinnitle figures. And I would say definitely worth the money based on these figures that I got here. So both of these figures I really got for my wife, but also just to kind of see what these figures are actually going to give us for that price and damn. So the first figure that I have here is going to be Mr. Kagiyama from Haiku. And wow, oh my God, this figure is pretty damn good for just $40. I mean, the overall paint and sculpt of the figure itself looks absolutely wonderful. Pretty decent pose. I would say that with this figure, you do have to have him slightly at an angle. He's kind of looking off to his side. And sometimes when figures do that, sometimes the eye print may look a little weird. So you gotta get him in the right position to really see what it looks like. And trying to do that on camera may be a little difficult, but you know, just looking at it with my eye here, he looks pretty good. He looks pretty dang good. My wife was really impressed with it as well. And I just happened to have a pop-up parade of Kageyama. So let's try to compare those two real quick. All right, so here is the pop-up parade of Kageyama. And you know, pretty decent figure. Again, probably cost me like $25 or $30 here in the United States. And here is the Tinnitle figure. And look at that size difference. It is massive. Like he is way, way bigger in terms of scale when you have them side by side. And the quality again is definitely there. So yeah, I think, you know what? I mean, they do have different uniforms and whatnot. So that's something you have to take into consideration. But if I were to 
choose between Tinnitol and the Pop-Up Parade, I would definitely go with the uh, the Tinnitol figure here. And then you have a pretty unique base here as well. So this is you know, just him kind of walking down the street, I guess, and it has his name on it. And you'll see with the next figure that not all of the bases are going to be the same. So let's go ahead and look at this other figure that I got. It's gonna be, again, another figure that I got for my wife. Mr. Baji from Tokyo Revengers. Um, we kind of have mixed feelings about this anime, but my wife does love Baji quite a bit. In fact, I bought her quite a bit of merch while I was in Japan of Baji. Tokyo Revengers is huge there. They have so much merch of the Tokyo Revengers gang. So definitely got her some of that. But again, just like this Kageyama figure, this Baji figure looks terrific. The overall sculpt is great. I love his pose. I love the fact that he has like, what's his yakisoba or something that he's eating. I think that's his favorite food. I can't remember exactly, but whatever. Anyways, the fact that they have it in there as kind of an accessory is pretty great. And just the amount of motion that it's capturing with, you know, kind of how his jacket is flowing, the tie, all of that is just so well done. And again, this only cost me about $40, so really, not that expensive at all. And again, it looks just like Baji, of course. And here we have, you know, a different base. So not the same as the Kageyama base as I was saying before, a pretty unique base of just him on some concrete. So yeah, I think Good Smile Company, honestly, is in a little bit of trouble with some of these uh, tentacle figures. You know, it's not gonna be directly comparable. It's all gonna be based on, you know, the poses that they're in and whatnot. And I guess like what they're wearing, what type of outfit that they have on, may kind of swoop, you know, persuade your decision making and whatnot. But in terms of like the overall quality and the size, I definitely think these are gonna be worth that extra $10. And I'm just looking on my figure collection at some of the other um, Tinnitol figures that are coming out. And I have some on pre-order. So I definitely have this Bochi figure on pre-order. I think she looks really, really good. In fact, this is probably my favorite Bochi figure that's been announced so far. It's a very simple figure, but I think they just captured her so well. I love that she has the guitar out, the, the speaker, the amp, and then her facial expression looks absolutely adorable. So now that I have these tinsel figures, I feel perfectly comfortable ordering this Bochi figure. And then there are a couple other figures that I'm considering buying. So we have this girl from, um, what's it called? Reincarnated as a sword, we got Fran. So I'm thinking about getting that. Not like a anime that I'm super into, but I thought the character was cute. And this is a relatively cheap figure and I'm sure the quality is going to be there. So I might pick it up now. So I'm looking forward to seeing what else uh, Furyu has coming out, but this is definitely a great start. So those are all of the figures that I picked up while I was in Japan. Didn't get anything like really big or anything like that. I didn't want to have to spend like $100 for a hard shell suitcase just to bring home a couple of, you know, big scale figures. That would kind of defeat the point. I can just have it shipped to myself for cheaper than that. So I kept it kind of small, try to get as many good, you know, prize figures that I can fit into my suitcase. And I'm pretty happy about all of them, but I definitely have a lot more figures that I need to unbox for you guys that I've had delivered while I was in Japan. You can see one right back there on my table back there and I got some other boxes in the living room as well. So definitely be on the lookout for those and definitely be on the lookout for a potential vlog of my trip to Japan. I'm putting it together. It's a little scuff, but we will definitely see. But anyways, thanks for watching guys. Be sure to hit that like button, easy way to support the channel and I would greatly appreciate it. Subscribe for more videos and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.